general. It's like a general thing to keep in mind is the reason why Africa is so unique with Bitcoin is the actual adoption is all grassroots. It's super bottom up. Like there's no government anywhere that has ever stood up saying, oh, you guys need to use Bitcoin or some other sort of, I guess, more centralized authority. So I guess that's kind of one of the most interesting things, and which is why we still have Bitcoin in Africa. If it was a case where it was the reverse, given the fact that the majority of people in different countries hate governments, it would even work. I mean, look at the ENR, like the hell, I have the ENR wallet, you have the KYC, no one uses it, no one accepts it. So we can see from that. But on the investment side, it's, it's a case of, if you want to come to do business in Africa, the number one thing to note is not to try to replicate existing companies outside of Africa. It's not going to work. Different infrastructure, completely different rails, relationship based, it's totally different. So the best advice I'd say for people is to come in, take a look at businesses that are closely related to the one that you're trying to do in Africa and see how you can learn from that. Actually go and interact with them really. It's not a case of, uh, you know, I Google this, they're doing that, I'm doing this, I could do it too. No, hit them up. Like a lot of companies are pretty open to talking, especially given the fact that the majority of them are typically smaller range, so it's not like some dumb email address that no one is picking up because they're too big to re answer. So things around that, I think like learning, getting in touch with them, and then finding out exactly how you could use the unique infrastructure in Africa, whether it's USD codes, whether it's like mesh networking or some other rails, and then working from there really.